Next thing you're going to need to do is take this uh, cover off because um, the bolt, some, a couple of the bolts on the side here, or one of them, is hard to get at without having the cover off that is for the spring-loaded uh, mount here. So we'll take the cover off and there's just two Phillips screws, one on top and one on the side. There's two of these uh, nuts on each side of the carriage, so you need to loosen all four of these up and bring that nut all the way to the top. You should get it part way though, so you can do it by hand. Um, and on both on both sides, let it, let it come real loose and let the, the nut come mostly to the top. It needs to come way up because of the operation of the mechanism requires some kind of space. I forget where, probably on the far left end. But both sides here, if you can just loosen those bolts up, one here very close to the mechanism, another one back here, and just loosen them all the way to the top. When they're done loosening, you kind of look like that so that you can see that the, uh, there's no, no pressure left on either of these uh, springs that are in the uh, carriage here. Okay, now we can put the mechanism cover back on. It just sits back on top and you just have to line up those two screw holes. There is one place on the side where the mechanism cover locks with a kind of guide there's a slot for it and it sits in it and then the screws just line up and you put them back in